Hello YouTubers! Recently I came across very interesting software. It is free to download and you will find the link in the description box below. Using this tool you will be able to make your own motor control and power circuits and then test it on your computer. That is why I've decided to make few videos about it. Today we're going to build direct online starter. So I'm going to start from placing all necessary components. I've got my motor. I need contactor. Now I'm going to place some fuses for overcurrent protection. And for overload protection, I'm going to use this thermal relay. Right. And I also have to put some power. There it is. Right, there is a reason why I've placed each element one under the other. That is because I can use this tool, vertical wire, and connect my power circuit in the blink of an eye right there you go well nearly right okay I've got my power circuit ready now I've got to mm, name each component so my fuses I'm going to call them F1 for thermal relay, I'm going to call it F2. Oh, hold on. There you go, F2. Uh, motor, M1. Contactor, KM1. Okay, now the control circuit. I'm going to use 24 volt DC for my control circuit. So that's, I'm going to place what, what it, positive power and negative wire, negative power. Now, elements I need is contactor coil. I need some sort of push buttons to start my motor. That's normally open a push button. To stop my motor, I'm going to use normally close push button. And the last thing I need is auxiliary, auxiliary of this heat relay, which is here, normally close auxiliary heat relay. Now I'm going to use this line positive wire to connect them all together and I use negative wire right there you go and again I have to name them correctly this is normally closed auxiliary of this heat relay which means I have to call it F2. This is contactor's coil, which means I have to call it KM1. And that's just gonna be it. Start. And this one. Okay, so what do you think? Will it work? Let's find out. To simulate, click this. Okay, we are in the simulation mode. Let's press start. And the motor is running. The motor is running clockwise, but it only runs when I hold start button. But don't you worry. 
we'll fix it. We'll fix it by placing another normally open contact in parallel. And that contact comes off KM1. Let's connect it with the circuit. Okay, let's have a look now. I'm pressing start, I'm releasing it, and the KM1 is still energized. That's because this contact, it's called retaining contact or latching contact. Now, the only, the only way to stop the motor is hit stop. Press start, motor is running. Press stop, motor is no longer running. Okay, I've got, uh, we can simulate two other things. Uh, for instance, I can simulate overload. If I click on F2, you'll notice that's, that this auxiliary contact of heat relay become open. Once it become open, this path is broken and the KM1 is no longer energized. Okay, let me restore the power, clicking on F2 again. And then you notice that this contact become closed. Press start. There you go, motor is running fine again. Now the, the other thing I can simulate, I can just blow them fuses by clicking on them. There you go, motor is no longer running. There's no power coming through here because I've blown all the fuses. Let me restore the power, click on them again. Motor is running. We can also create power circuit using two dimension elements. There is no fuses in 2D library. So we're going to use circuit breaker instead. Don't forget to give new components correct descriptions. Once that's done, Connect them all using vertical wire. This power circuit, built with 2D elements, will not work until we build a control circuit in the same way. But that is homework for you. That's about it. Check out my other videos on the channel for more great content. And if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button and subscribe.